Guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did not realize I didn't have any sound. I just happened to look at the comments. So I'm going to start this all over again. My apologies. I did not know I was talking this whole time. But um, basically, um, let me go back to the beginning for those that have not seen it. Because I didn't realize that there was no sound in the video. But can you guys hear me now? I want to make sure that you guys hear this. This is some pretty good stuff. So can you guys hear me now? Type yes in the comments if you can hear me now. Type yes in the comments if you can hear me. Okay. So back to what I was saying. Um, hi, Tanya. Uh, can you hear me? Okay, yes, good. Okay, great. So I'm going to start back from the beginning because when I first started the video, I didn't realize I didn't have any sound. I didn't know I was on mute. So forgive me for that. So I'm going to go back and we're going to talk about some of the benefits of ginger. And as I was stating earlier before, I know you guys were able to read the slides, but you weren't able to hear me as I was elaborating on the slides. So I'm going to go back to um, the beginning and we're going to go back and start all over. Um, so I want to read this disclaimer. This met this video is not meant for educate. This video is meant for educational purposes only. I'm not a doctor, nor do I claim to be. This video is meant for awareness only. So please consult your doctor if you're taking meds for any particular reason or um, issues that you might be dealing with. This is just simply um, something that has worked for me, and I am just simply sharing it so that you guys can. Um, uh, you know, maybe um, research it and talk with your doctor and see if it's something that you can add to what you're doing. Okay. So what we're going to be discussing is ginger and the health benefits. Okay. So ginger, as I was stating earlier, ginger helps if you're um, dealing with um, nausea, like especially during pregnancy. Um, it helps by breaking up and getting rid of built up gas in your intestines. And I don't know about you, but I know when I was pregnant, oh my gosh, they used to, that was like the most, I'm telling you, sometimes the gas that's built up in your stomach sometimes can make you feel like you're about to have a heart attack, you know. It also helps with seasickness or nausea caused by chemotherapy. So if you're in chemotherapy for any type of reason, um, ginger actually can actually help with that. And it's amazing because I, you know, I, you know, I thought about this and I'm like, man, my mom, my mom was taking chemotherapy. And these are things that, you know, that I found work for us. It also curves cancer growth. So some studies show that bioactive molecules in ginger slows down the growth of some cancers like colorectal, gastric, ovarian, liver, skin, breast and prostate cancer. Ginger also lowers blood sugar. It has been shown to lower blood sugar levels and improve heart disease risk factors in people with type 2 di um, diabetes. Ginger also can treat chronic indigestion. It appears, it, it appears to speed up by emptying, um, by emptying up the stomach, which can be beneficial for people with indigestion and related stomach discomfort. So if you battle with indigestion, you might want to kind of consider maybe taking a, a small dose of ginger to see if that helps because I've had some, um, some indigestion issues. And I'm telling you, just by me taking it daily, I've known I've had a significant improvement in a lot of different areas. Um, and I'll go over that as we continue the video. Also, it's it can lower your blood, uh, lower cholesterol levels. There's some evidence both in human and animals that ginger can lead to significant redu reduction in LDL, which is bad cholesterol, total cholesterol and blood triglyceride levels. It also improves brain function. So some um, animal studies show that ginger can protect against age related damage to the brain, which can um, and it also helps improve brain function, especially in us um, in middle age women. So some of us middle age women, you know, you might want to try to take you some ginger shots because it definitely improves um, brain brain function. It also protects against disease. Ginger is loaded with antioxidants, compounds that prevent stress and damage to your body's DNA. And this will help fight off chronic diseases like high blood pressure, 
heart disease and diseases of the lungs. You know, a lot of the times we go through different things, especially when we get in our 30s and 40s and 50s. We go through things in our body and we don't really um, we don't really pay attention to the things that we're eating that cause inflammation. The food, sometimes the foods that we're eating um, causes inflammation, causes it, you know, causes things to happen in our body when we're don't, we're not, when we're not eating in moderation and when we're not staying away from certain things that affect us, you have to pay attention to your body. Let me tell you something. If it's anything that I've learned at this age, I have learned to pay attention to your body, your body. I have always been the type of person. If I feel anything different, if I feel the slightest change in my body, I'm like, okay, let me start taking note of this because you want to be proactive. You want to, you want to be able to start doing things for your body while you have the opportunity to do it. And the more things that you do preventatively, the more natural things that you do, the more you'll realize like, wait a minute, like, hold up. I remember the very first time I tried ginger and I was over a friend, a friend of mine's house and they were, you know, you know, that, you know, he's really big on, on health and, and wellness and, and he said, here, just try this. And I and I drank a shot of it. And I was like, whoa, it's like my body just said, whoa, just kicked in the gear. And I was like, what? And I remember from that day on, I thought, wow. And I'm over here pumping myself with all kinds of vitamins and all kinds of stuff. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do more research on this naturally thing. We hear it all the time. There's all kinds of information out there about um all kinds of natural remedies that you can do for your body, but we just don't really pay attention because it's just, you know, most of us don't want to do the work. So don't worry, I'm here to help you out a little bit. So let's get back to this um, thing. Cause I'm going, what we're going to do is I got my little, my little thing over here and we're going to go, we're going to make some ginger. So yeah. So, all right, let's get back into our um, slide. So we said it protects against disease. It also helps. It also helps with mommy, mommy. acid reflux. So small doses of ginger may relieve gastro in, in, uh, gastrointestinal irritation. Okay. Ginger can reduce likelihood of stomach acid flowing up in the esophagus. How many of y'all know when you get that, when you get that acid reflux, you start building up in your, in your esophagus and it starts to burn and you start feeling like, oh, it can reduce the inflammation. A lot of it, most people don't understand. Most of the foods we eat sometimes cause inflammation. It also helps with heart disease. Ginger has medical properties that help in preventing blood clots in the blood vessels of the heart. It also helps with gum disease. Ginger root helps fight gum disease by neutralizing acids formed by bacteria. Okay, give me a second. No, no, give me a second, okay? So ginger root helps fight gum disease by neutralizing acids formed by bacteria. Ginger also helps with skin. Not only does ginger... Um, helps your skin by flushing out toxins. It also encourages blood circulation. Let me tell you, blood circulation is crucial. Okay. You want that blood flow to continue to, 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 to flow easy without no clotting and no issues. So what I want to do is, um, basically go over, um, I'm going to go over, I'm going to show you again. We're going to go over. It's going to be a real it's not really complicated, guys. I thought when I first did this, I thought, oh, my gosh, I don't know how to do this. I was over here buying, you know, all these shots. And then I realized, wait a minute, this stuff can be pretty expensive if you try to go to the grocery store and buy these shots. I mean, it can be kind of pricey if you think about getting all the things that you need in one in, in multiple different shots. So I found a way that I definitely want to share with you guys on how to be able to make these ginger shots. So. Let me pull up. I'm up. So right here. So here I got some McKinley. Go upstairs while mommy do the video. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Adam, come get Bella McKinley. I want my Okay. So. Okay. Well, go take it upstairs to charge. Go take it upstairs to charge. Okay, guys. Here's what. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm at home, so I'm being mom at the same time I'm doing a video. So here is. This is what ginger looks like when you go into the grocery store and you buy ginger. It looks like my, like my son said, it looks like fingers. This is what ginger looks like. And they come in different sizes. They don't really have a smell when you first approach them. 
But when you start to cut it up and blend it, oh yeah, then you start to smell ginger. But this is what it looks like when you buy it in the grocery store. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna going to clean my hands and we're gonna go through, we're gonna go through how to make this ginger. So I tried to have a nice little cute setup. So can you guys see, maybe I need to turn this light down a little bit. Make it a lot easier to see. Is that a lot better? Is that better? Can you guys see me a lot better? Okay, so what we're gonna do is there's two different ways that you can do um, that you can do ginger. And this is what I found out. You can you can actually cut it up as it is, or you can, you know, skin it however you want. Um, however, um, either way, you still need to um use like a cheesecloth or you can use a strainer to strain it because when it blends and as you're draining the liquid from as you're draining the liquid from it um either way it's, i mean it's not going to make a difference because it's going to drain so to me it doesn't really bother me i can just cut it up as it is which is what i did for this i just cut it up as is and as you see it's almost gone because i we all take it i give it to the kids to the girls i give it to adam i give it to myself we all take it so um, either way, it's not going to make a difference. As you see, it's not going to make a difference once you finish. If you decide that you don't want to go through all the work to cutting everything up. I don't know about y'all, but I don't really I don't really care if I if the skin is on it or not. I mean, either way, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be cut up. So I'm going to look for my blender. I mean, my actual um, strainer is what I was looking for. So that we can... It's funny how when you have things and then you sit it around and then everybody, I don't know about y'all, but you have kids that sometimes move stuff and you have to search for it because you don't know what they do with it. And then their first response is when you ask kids that move stuff is they say, I don't know. It wasn't me. It was somebody else. So, but that's okay because I have my cheesecloth, so. You can't find your blender, you can use your cheese cloth. Hold on one second, let me get my cheese cloth. So, cheese cloth, when you buy cheese cloth in the pack, you know, most of you, you can get cheese cloths from pretty much anywhere. You can get it from any grocery store or um, any grocery store that has like, um, I got mine from the farmer's market and I usually just wash it and just reuse it. I mean, they, they come in like a really long, like I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like. When I buy my cheesecloth, it comes like in a little packet. Um, and it says like cheesecloth. You just have to pretty much just cut it to your length. So whatever, you don't really need a really big piece. I just like the, you know, I use it at least a couple times, so it doesn't bother me. So I just wash it out really good and reuse it. So this is what I'll do. I'll take this once I cut everything. So I'm going to sit this over here. And we're going to go ahead and cut up the ginger. So just cut it down. And make sure, you know, you guys, you can, you know, if you don't, have a blender you can use one of the and you'll see as you're cutting it it'll start to develop a you'll start to smell the ginger it'll start to come up real strong so even though when you first pick it up it's like it doesn't smell that it doesn't smell like anything but once you start cutting it you'll start smelling it so if you don't have if you don't have a if you don't have a a, a bullet or a blender um, you can actually use one of those little things that just chop it up where you could just chop it and it works the same way. Um, I'd preferably rather, I'd rather use a blender cause it's faster, convenient. I could just make it for the week and be done with it. So you just cut it up. I have a little portable cutting board over here. So you just cut it up so that it doesn't mess up the blender. And it's always good to, when you put it in the blender, it's always good to use um, some type of liquid form. You can use, I have uh, uh, alkaline water to help with the blending process. Um, 
you can use since ginger has a really strong taste ginger has a really strong taste so you have to make sure that um i mean you some people if you can take it you know some people use it with garlic some people use it with apple cider vinegar i preferably i don't really like it. i don't really have to have a lot of things added to it um because i'd rather just take i'd rather it's it's strong but i like it as it is you can put a little bit of orange juice in it but i put lemon juice in it you can do fresh fresh squeezed lemon juice or you can use um or you can just use by lemon juice you know it's pretty much up to you so i cut it as you can see i'm cutting it up and putting it inside the container And this stuff, I'm telling you, it goes a long way. It goes a long way. So you just cut it up, put it in there. And I'll be able to make enough for all of us because there's, you know, we each take a shot a day. So let's see, let's clean this up. So let's not waste all that ginger. Let's get all that ginger in here. Okay, so this is what it looks like cut up inside the container with the skin on. Like I said, you can take your time and peel through it. That's too much work for me. I, I don't I don't have a problem with straining it. So um, if I'm going to get the benefits, I might as well get all the benefits. That's just my personal opinion. So I have here just a simple bottle, just a simple bottle of al um, alkaline water by Cynthia and so I'm going to use a little bit of this to pour inside, you know, and measuring it, you just got to kind of measure it to your eye. You just want to put, you want to put in enough so that when it blends, it's not a lot of strain on your blender. I hope y'all like my little pretty setup over here too. So I also put, this is lemon juice. I like to put lemon juice in mine also. So we'll put a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. And you have the option. You don't have to use these. You can take out, you can add, if you don't want the um, apple cider vinegar in yours, you can, you can try different things. You have to use what works for you. So I like the properties of apple cider vinegar. So I like to put apple cider vinegar, a few drops of apple cider vinegar in there too. Just a few, about three drops. And so you just basically put the top on. And while that's blending, I have a little container that I'm going to use to actually store my ginger. So I have, a, and I like this container because it's easy. You know, the, you know, you don't really have to. You just pour and put it in there. So you want to make sure that it has a um, a, a really um, liquidy type of feel. Um, and for those of you that have a hard time taking the ginger the way it is, you can add orange juice to it too, or apple juice. If you have kids and um, and you know that they might have a little bit of a hard time just drinking the ginger because it has a very strong taste. So you can add some um, apple juice to it for the kids or, or add orange juice to it for yourself. That'll help kind of like mellow out the taste a little bit. Okay, so it looks a little, a little bit more. And I use this, this actually blender specifically for that so that I don't, you know, because it has a really strong taste and a really strong smell. So sometimes if you don't, it'll, it'll kind of linger on. Um, but this is good because it's small, it's compatible. And these, most, these blenders also come with like a little small container. If you want to use a small container and keep it in the container, you can use that too. I just prefer to use this because it's just a lot easier to shake it because once ginger is stored in a refrigerator, um, all the all the ginger will tend to fall at the bottom of the, of the container and the liquid and everything that you put in it will tend to rise up. So sometimes you have to give it a little shake before you um, drink it, pour it in a cup, in the shot. Um, it's a little small container. You don't need a whole lot. Just a, 
one little small container can do and you can get this pretty much you can get a little small container from anywhere or you can go to walmart sometimes walmart have the little shot containers that you little shot glasses you can get and you can use that all right so it's a little bit of liquidy so what i'm going to do is take the cheesecloth i'm going to take this cheesecloth this is probably too long but that's okay because i'll just reuse it so basically can you guys see i'm not sure if you said it already but how much water did you use tanya basically what i do is i fill it up um you pretty much have to look um eye it you have to eyeball it because depending on your blender like when i don't know if you've seen it before but um when you fill up the ginger you want to make sure there's enough um liquid in there so that it's not tearing up your I don't know, you know, because this is a magic bullet. I have a magic bullet and I have a neutral bullet. So depending on your um, blender, you want to make sure you have enough liquid in there so that it's not burning out your motor in your blender. So I would say if you're going to do, I would say if you're going to do like a full thing of ginger, just right up to maybe like a little bit of maybe right at the top of where the, uh, to where uh, the ginger ends, because you're going to be adding other things, too. You don't even have to use that much. You can use less water and put more um uh, lemon juice in there. But me personally, I like the alkaline water. So I'll use most of that. Most of my liquid is alkaline water. And then I'll have a, um, I'll have maybe a, um, I guess maybe like a third of a cup of, um, of, uh, lemon juice. And then I'll put a, maybe like three squirts of apple cider vinegar in there. So what I normally like to do is take, you put the, you put the, 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 uh, let me use this one because this one is a lot better. This one is a lot easier to use because it has an open mouth and then I can pour it in here. So this is the original container that I had made it in and it has a little bit of a wider mouth so that when you put your cheesecloth. Now, if you have a. Um, Diane, what I normally do is I had I had these were the, I use one whole I call these like little fingers, um, but I use like one whole finger. You can use, for me, I use one whole finger. I, I think one whole finger can, if you're just using it just for yourself and you're taking one shot a day, this will last you. One finger will last you like a week if you're taking like a shot that's about this big. Now, if you're doing it for like a family, um, this, I did this for us the other day. Um, and this was only about three days and it's already almost gone. So for family, you might need to do two fingers or so I, I call these fingers because my kids call them fingers for family. You might need to do um, maybe two of them. But if it's just you, I think one will be enough. One will be enough. And they are. They, and when you buy the ginger, they're not all um, when you buy the ginger. Sometimes the ginger is not all in one whole thing like this. Sometimes you might buy the ginger and it's like it may be it might be broken up. So. Um, you basically just have to just, um, if you, like I said, if you're just depending on, um, how many people in your family, I would say, get a couple of them. This, I spent like six bucks for like a whole bag. I think it was like, maybe I forgot how many pounds it was, but I bought, um, a whole, like a whole little bag. And like I said, one finger, one whole thing of these gave me like a whole container for my whole entire family. And I have a family of three or four of us. There's four of us that took it. So and four shots is what we use. Well, I'll take that back. I took, uh, I give shots to me and Adam, but the girls, the little ones, I just give them like a teaspoon, like a, a nice little teaspoon because they don't really, they don't like it. They like, uh, uh. and also another thing you can do is you can add pepper to this to actually help, um, to help, um, absorb it while you're drinking. You could just add a little bit of pepper too. So I, um, I tried it with a little bit of pepper. I didn't make it in. I put a little bit of pepper in mine, but I didn't put it in everybody else's because, you know, everybody else may not can't stand it the way I do. I rather I, I enjoy the benefits of it. So it doesn't matter to me. I don't have to have a whole lot of things to mix with it. I can just drink it. You know, it's an acquired taste. At first, it's like it feels like fire going down your throat. It's like, oh, because it's very strong. But the benefits outweigh, you know, it's almost like I'd rather deal with the pain now and get the benefits than to deal with pain any other kind of way. So um, most things that are uh, natural don't have the best taste, but um, yeah, so it does, it is pretty strong. So I have to say that. So basically what I do is I normally just take the, 
um, give it a little bit of room inside. I just take it like this and hold on, let me even this up. Cause sometimes I'm gonna do this while I'm on camera because sometimes if you don't hold it, you gotta give it a little bit of room because what you don't wanna do like what I did yesterday. I'm gonna do this like this because we're in a camera and I want you guys to see how this actually looks. So I'm gonna take the top off of it. So hopefully you'll have a bigger container to use this in, like a bowl or something like that. And, I, and as you can see, it kind of looks like liquidy. And so I just literally just pour a little bit. And as you can see, it'll start to, you just do a little bit at a time. It looks kind of like, uh, like a, a, a mesh. And hold on, you don't want to waste that like I did last time. And you could take like a spoon. Hold on, let me get a spoon. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a spoon. So with the spoon, you just kind of just press at the top. And you just, you can see at the, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can open it up so you can see. When you're pressing, you see that? All that good stuff just going down. And you would do this too with an actual, um, you will do this also with a, uh, with a uh, strainer. You just mesh it down. It comes out really easy. And then I know you're probably thinking, well, what do you do with the stuff that's left? Because as you can see, there's still some stuff up there. You just put it back in the blender and you just keep blending it until, because even when you store this, even when you store this, it's still going to fall at the bottom. So you just take it and then I just take it and I just take the spoon and scoop it back up. And And I have this right here. I can just take it and I'll sit this in here because I'll put more. Because we're going to put more in that. Or you can use a spoon if you don't want to be clumsy like me. I can be a little clumsy. And you just take it. And then do the same thing. You just mesh, mash it down. You see all that? See how it's building up? It's going right through the, just squeeze it. I'm trying to read your comments too. Just squeeze it. You see how much? It's amazing. A little goes a long way. And then I'll just take this and scoop this up. Once this is all out, I scoop it. And I have a little container over here. Just take it. And you can repeat this process pretty much until you get the, um, and I'm just going to add more. And you just do the same thing. You see how it's filling it up? See how it's just squeezing it out, squeezing out all that good ginger. I'm telling you, health is wealth, guys. Let me tell you something. Health is wealth. It takes a little time to kind of do this, to build this up. But you do it, you do it one good time now. So you don't have to do it. So you don't have to pay the price later. And see, as you can see, and I'm not even halfway through, guys. Look at this. And you can actually let me take this and you can pour it in your container. Let me see if I can see it so you guys can see. Look at that. And I had to get a bigger container and you can also squeeze um 
you know, but try to stay out the way. You guys can also squeeze it out. Um, you don't have to use a spoon. You can just squeeze it. Um, that'll work too. And you just basically do it until until you got all the, 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 the liquid from the ginger. This is basically liquid ginger. And you just squeeze it out. And look at that. Look at that. Just squeeze it out. And then you can, like I said, for some of you, and you can keep filling um, all the way until, um, and then you you can, at this point, if you guys want to add a little bit of orange juice, you can add orange juice. Or if you want to use ginger water, ginger, I drink ginger water. So I'll take this and I'll take, you know, a shot that I would normally take. And sometimes I'll put it in my, in my water too. So if I'm drinking a bottle of alkaline water, I pour it in there too. So, and I take it every day and I'm telling you the benefits. It's like when I took it, my body just went, whoosh, just kicked into gear. My body just kicked into gear. Oh, I don't have a cheesecloth. I'm going to be creative with my strainer. Yes, you can. Um. Yeah, you can use your strainer too. Your strainer works the same way. I like to use a cheesecloth, but either one of them work. I mean, there's no there's no rule on which one you don't have. It's really which one, every, whatever one you have. But the um the the strainer works the same way because the whole purpose is just to get the the ginger from it. And Tanisha, I know with you, if you have kids, your kids might be like mine. They're like, Ugh. so I add a little bit of orange juice to it um, to kind of give it to kick off the the taste a little bit. You still get the effects of the ginger, but for the kids, it's a little bit more. They might absorb it a little bit better. But I'm telling you, my when I took this, my inflammation, I had inflammation of my xiphoid. I, I know you guys couldn't hear me earlier. I had inflammation of my xiphoid. And I didn't even know you can get inflammation of the xiphoid. I didn't even know what that is. I didn't even know what a xiphoid was. And I started to have the same symptoms of feeling like I had a heart attack feeling. And I went to the doctor and did a CAT scan, did everything. And they said, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. Your blood, vet, your cardiac blood enzymes, all the normal. It's just your inflammation. So when I came home and I thought, wow, there's so I've got to figure out what's causing this inflammation. So I started to um, take, started to make the ginger. And I'm telling you, my body, I have a very hectic schedule, guys. I work from home. I work sometimes, um, I work from home most of the day. And then I have two toddlers at, well, they're not toddlers anymore, but they're seven and four. And trying to maintain the house, it's a lot. I have a lot going on. So I need the energy and I was spending money because me, I'm the type of person is, I can do, I can go all day long and my brain tells me I can go all day long, but my body sometimes need a little bit of help. Even when I try to work out, sometimes I'm just worn out and working out. But I started to drink the ginger shots and I was amazed at how much it was giving me the energy. I didn't even talk about the energy that it gives you. And it doesn't give you like this hyper where you about to run up and down, but it gives you it makes you feel full of vitality. It's like you it's like it kicks your body in the gear. And I went from struggling just doing a simple workout to I was. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, I was at it. I mean, I was able to function. The stuff that is this stuff does to your brain, like I said, for middle aged women, it really does a lot to really help. And it doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter if you're young or old. The benefits are amazing. And this is just ginger. OK, I'm going to do another video. OK, on Wednesday, I'm going to do another video on turmeric. Guys, I'm telling y'all, y'all got to get with the program. I'm telling you, the there are things that you can do for your body naturally. I'm not even a, I have recently become my own expert because I have, I have tried some things. I've seen them work on my own body. I've seen the difference in my skin. I've seen the difference in my energy. I've even, um, it's amazing because Ever since I started to change how I eat, I change. It is everything changed. It's amazing, like the benefits that come with this. So we're going to finish with the turmeric. And then Wednesday, I want you guys to join me because I'm going to tell you the benefits. We're going to go do some stuff with turmeric. We're going to make some turmeric tea. I'm going to show you guys how to make some turmeric tea. Turmeric is another one of, of my regiment. I'm telling
Alzheimer's. I'm telling you, this turmeric has also some amazing benefits and we're going to go over that. I love turmeric. I will be on, honey. Oh yeah. Let me tell you something, Todd. I have made, oh guys, I'm going to save that for Wednesday, but I'm telling you, that this ginger and turmeric, and I'm going to, um, you're going to be amazed at some of the stuff I found with the turmeric. But so let's go ahead and finish this so we can get this done because I know it's late and I know you guys got to get ready to work. So I want to respect your time. I want to be on here no longer than an hour because y'all know I could talk. So basically, um, so you just basically just chop that down and um, just, and what you guys can do is you can, and you could just. I just pour it in this little container and then you reuse it until it's gone. This stuff is reusable. Like this stuff is amazing. God has, let me tell you something. All right. God has given us things here in the earth. He's given us all, the Bible said he's given us all things pertaining to life. You hear that? And godliness. So we have everything that we need in the earth to help us stay clean emotionally, physically, spiritually. We have everything that we need. We just need to be more. We just need to be better. Um, and I say, for, and I talk for me because, you know, I was always good at watching other TV shows and watching people do different things, but I wasn't very good at um, applying those things. Like I would do it partially because, you know, when you're younger, you're eating what you want, you're doing what you want. You don't really have the, you don't really suffer the effects of it until you get older and you're getting your 40s, like with me, I'm 46, I'm about to be 47. And my body is, when your body starts going through different changes, you start getting desperate for help so that you're not spending so much time medicating yourself majority of the time. And that was one thing with me. I did not want to spend a lot of time medicating myself because of my family history. I feel like my family has everything, every, every pretty much um, uh, health issue known to man. It just in my immediate family. And I just decided that I wanted to do some things naturally to kind of help fight um, me having to be next in line to take all of these medicines. And I'm telling you, the benefits are amazing. I'm going to share with you a testimony. You guys join me Wednesday when I do the one for turmeric, because I'm going to tell you what happened to my body when I took the turmeric. When I took that turmeric, I was blown away. And that's pretty much what made me do this video because I was just like, I'm... I, I, when I'm excited about something, I'll tell every, I like to tell everybody. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about can, uh, what about candy for tea? Candy? What do you mean? Um, Miss Betty, you talking about like peppermints or are you talking about what type of candy are you talking about? I necessarily wouldn't really, I mean, some people use peppermint candy, um, to put in their tea. I prefer not to because I want to enjoy all the natural benefits of the medications. I've cheated with eating a lot of, a lot of my life. I don't want to cheat anymore because I've been, I have, I have firsthand experience on what it's like to feel sick. And I don't know about y'all, but, uh, I don't like to feel sick. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't like to feel sick when I realized how my body felt being sick and helpless. I said, it's a different feeling when you sick and you older versus when you younger and you sick, you feel like you could bounce back when you're young, you get a headache or whatever. You just get up and you just, you just keep on going even with the headache. But when you get older, some things you go through in your body shuts you all the way down and ginger can ginger candy is good. I actually have some ginger chews that I, they're a, a, an acquired taste. I'm going to say that. Ginger candy is good too. Um, but if you can do, if you can do a more of a natural ginger, that's always better. But ginger candy is good too. I like the ginger chews. Um, like I said, it's an acquired taste. So it's not something you walk around eating like gummy bears or nothing like that. Um, but um, and I have what I have, I'm gonna show you. I have these ginger cubes that I use um in my tea. Let's see. Let's hold on, let me show you what I have in my tea. I also have these. I got this from the grocery store, crystallized ginger. Um, and sometimes I might put this in my tea. Like I'll use like crystallized ginger to put in my tea. But I prefer to get the natural ginger, just me personally, um, because with the crystallized tea, a lot of this stuff, I think this has, um, you know, they add sugar to this, you know, and I don't really need the sugar. So if, if um, what's the name of the ginger chews? Um, 
I forgot the name of it, but you can go into like, you can go into like any health food store and they have them. You can go into, um, what is it? Any like a uh, farmer's market and get it. You can go to Whole Foods, Whole Foods have it. I don't remember the name of the brand because when I picked it up, I just, I just saw that it said ginger chews and I just grabbed it and just was like, wow. But Whole Foods, if you have a Whole Foods in your area, go to Whole Foods. They have, um, they actually have some, um, some ginger chews. Just ask the people, one of the people in the, um, in the store, what, what do you find in ginger chews? But yeah, Whole Foods definitely have it. Um, but yeah, I, I basically, I'll use the ginger crystals, but I'm not, you know, I'll use it in my tea if I don't have any ginger made. But honestly, guys, I would prefer just the natural um, taste of the ginger without any of the extra sugar or anything like that. I'd give it to me. Just give it to me just the way I need it because I feel like I done cheated and I don't want to spend any money on medication for anything. So I'd rather just get it wholeheartedly. And this is what I also, um, and I also, when I make my tea, and as I'll show you when we actually um, on Wednesday, I like to use the cinnamon sticks and you know, you can get cinnamon sticks from any grocery store. I use these faithfully with my tea. So when I'm making, um, ginger tea or the turmeric tea, and sometimes I'll mix both of them because sometimes I'm telling you, sometimes I just don't have, when you run out of like, you can buy like ginger tea, you can buy, um, turmeric tea. You can do all of that, which is what I did first. But then I realized sometimes I just want the, I just want to just make it and not really have any of that extra stuff in it. I just want the straight benefits of it. So, um, yeah, so I use this in my turmeric and ginger tea. This is, um, cinnamon is actually good if you're a diabetic. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, if you are a diabetic or a pre-diabetic, cinnamon and turmeric is your best friend. I'm Telling you, if you don't hear anything that I say, cinnamon and turmeric is your best friend, okay? And I'm going to share with you on Wednesday some of my experiences with cinnamon and ginger. So that is basically all, guys. And so when you're actually squeezing it, you'll see that it actually, this is still, you can still reuse this. You just add, you know, put it back in your blender and you're recycling it and recycling and recycling. I mean, it's amazing. Um, and it's cheaper to me, I think, to do it that way. But if you guys do not want to go through all the work and you want to be able to, um, I'm thinking I'm going to put together, um, okay, I'm going to put together some um, ginger shots that I'll make that I can have them pre-make and I send to, to send to you. So if there's something that you're interested in and you don't want to go through the hassle of chopping up and adding all the ingredients on it, no problem. I have a solution for you too. So if you are interested in, um, I'm going to create like a, uh, a wellness kit where you'll have, uh, the turmeric, you'll have the ginger, you'll have elderberry. We're going to talk about elderberry too. I'm telling you, it is excellent. Mona Lisa for inflammation. Excellent. I'm telling you, it's amazing. So we're going to talk, we talked about ginger today and then Wednesday, um, we're going to talk about, um, Wednesday, we're going to talk about turmeric and then, um, um, then after that, we're going to talk about elderberry. We're going to talk about these natural herbs. I'm telling y'all, this stuff is amazing. And you'll find that you will feel a lot better and you can, you know, you'd be surprised. You won't have to be taking as much of this meds that you guys are taking. I'm telling you, I, my mom has been, uh, I told my mom, I, I sat down with my mom. I said, look, mom, these are some things and I, we're going to get you because we're going to help you with this diabetes thing. And my mom's blood sugar level has went down tremendously. Her blood sugar level is so good. I'm like, dang. And my mother is um like, I'm telling you, I, I've shared some things with my mom, with my mom, and um she with my mom, she has, I'm telling you, I've seen major changes. So I'm not just talking hype, guys. I'm telling you stuff that has happened in my life real time, real time. So that's basically it. I'm gonna um Go ahead and um, end the video. But like I said, if you guys don't want to go through the hassle of making it, I will, um, by the end of the week, I will start making shots and I can make, I can put them together for you and send them to you. If you're interested in that, just put, um, I'm interested in the comments um, and I'll send you the information on how you can actually get, um, how you can get set up and um, you don't have to worry about that. We can get you on auto ship. And that way you can get your, you'll have your shots every time you need it, or you can make it 
from home. Um, it is a lot of work. Um, and if you don't have the time and you have a busy schedule and you just want an inexpensive way to kind of be healthy, like I said, the, I'll have a wellness kit that I'll actually be presented. It'll have turmeric, ginger, elderberry, and we're going to talk about mooling tea. And we're going to talk about sea moss. There's so many things, guys, that I want to share with you about this health thing. I'm learning so much and I'm excited because I'm benefiting the results. I am like the beneficiary of all of this stuff. And I'm like, it's amazing that, you know, when you take time to do what's right now, then you don't, then you save yourself a lot of money and a lot of heartache later. Cause I don't know about you, but I have two small children that I have to be here to raise. And I plan on being here to raise them. I, and if I have to go out, it definitely ain't going to be because I'm not taking care of myself physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So I want y'all to, um, if you guys got any, um, any comments, feedback, anything, if you can share in the comments, um, help us, how has ginger helped you? If you're already using it, please share in the comments. And again, if you're interested in the ginger shot in the, in the wellness kit, where I'll have the different types of shots available, please hit, um, I'm interested in just put, let me know in the comments that you're interested and I'll send you some information on how you can get uh, the shots sent to you um, on auto ship. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, you can take the shots as you need and you don't have to worry about um, putting it together yourself and going through the hassle. So until Wednesday, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys support for watching me on this video. Um, I appreciate you guys supporting me with sisterhood check-in also, but we have more to come this year. We're going to talk about life, health, and business. So until Wednesday, you guys have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you soon. You guys have a blessed night.